Hey, how's it going you guys? I do hope you're all having a nice day so far. Now, I've never done a video like this before and this is going to be a kind of a reset day recommendation sort of thing, but it's not been too many god rolls and, and really good rolls in my opinion that have been out. But one of the main ones I noticed is from the Vanguard Quartermaster. Now, the gun is the Continental and I know the Continental has been talked about a few times by the YouTubers in recent weeks, but this roll is pretty decent. I'm not entirely sure if it's the best roll you could possibly get, but it has focus fire, small bore and glass half full on it. I do know small bore sounds a bit iffy with a magazine size, but trust me, this gun is actually really nice to use in Crucible. And also another shout will be the Perithian shot. It has Outlaw, Brace Frame, Rifled Barrel and and a counterbalance. Now I know a lot of people write this off when the magazine size is so low, but if you're still looking for a pulse rifle that's semi-decent then this is the one to go for. Certainly a decent option. Now I'm not saying I'm an absolute genius with picking out these guns and finding the specific god rolls because I'm sure there's other god rolls that are available this week that you guys are going to let me know about and if there are, do let me know. And also this is a really good roll guys, it's got army of one on, um, that's the only perk of course, it's a green green weapon and it's I've got to tell you it's a hidden jet I'm just kidding I'm, I'm just kidding that was awful but just to show you guys the continental how it works I'm just going to buy it level it up and go into cruise port and try it out for a few games and really show you guys what this gun can do I think it'll be a fun time so here's how the stats look when I leveled all the stuff up. As you can tell, it's quite decent. The range is nice, the stability is quite nice. Even I've been quite a critic of focus fire when it comes to these high rate of fire auto rifles. But with this gun having such amount of balance, I think it will work really nicely. Honestly, going through the rest of the weapons this week, it really isn't that much of a... Well, there, there might be certain little guns that are okay rolls, but I don't see any god rolls unless I'm really bad at judging guns and I'm missing a very clear one as well. Once again, if I'm really bad at this... There's a reason why this is the first time of me doing this right now. Oh, wait there, guys. Let's hop into the Crucible, try out this Continental, and see how it does. So I don't typically pick up vendor rolls from the weekly reset. Being practically a year one player, I've gotten the majority of my weapons just from faction level ups or just straight up engrams. So this is pretty much one of the first times I've ever picked up one and... and gone straight to use it. I think it'll be an interesting experience because I have used this gun before in, um, after receiving it from engrams and I know it's not too bad and I have used it before with Focus Fire as well. And as you can see from the slowness, it. It really is noticeable, but the gun is really effective. As you can see, 27 to the head, crit shot. That's quite decent, you know. I think one of the main reasons why I'm looking forward to Destiny 2 is, when it comes to Crucible is the, the different balance, the different meta. Or meta, I keep, I keep messing that up, man. Because, of course, right now, obviously, it's just filled with hand cannons, pulse rifles. Basically, that's it. So just to have a whole new balancing thing... In Destiny 2 will be will just be so fun to experience. Still not a massive fan of the 4v4 system. I'm gonna miss 6v6, but I just know they're gonna add a 6v6, either straight away or down the line slightly. Too many people would miss it, I think. What do you guys think? So that guy has a pally, I believe, and I just killed him. So there you go. <laughs> I'm certainly not saying this beats a pally every time. You're telling me I've got no one? I'm really am bad at this game, aren't I? Yep, yeah, okay. How can I do it against a pulse rifle? <laughs> that was sloppy as it gets, but you know what? We won. It's hard to believe my KD is 1.3. Lewis and one other person liked my game clip. What clip was that going to be? Do you guys follow me on Xbox? I make ridiculous clips. Like, I usually just make funny stuff and just stuff that really makes no sense. <laughs> What's up with my- Okay, you guys have always told me that my smashy timing is terrible, and uh, I have to agree. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next trials attempt. It's gonna be spicy. What? What? What just happened? What was that? Why am I always the victim of one barrage on this game? Every time I tr try make a video, I try make a video, and it's always... Something ridiculous happens like that. So I've not got a massive opportunity to give this gun a proper try yet, but so far it's not too bad. So, oh, I got an Eyes Luna. Oh, Imagine if I got a God Roll right there. I'd make so many people angry. I'm determined to show you guys some gameplay with this gun. Ah, oh, 28 to the head. Pop your head. Pick your head up, come on. There you go. There's a double kill. I st it's, it's not my day in terms of Fist of Havoc, lads. It's really not. I think it's pretty good at range, you know. It's quite nice. I do understand why people are put off from the focus fire perk on this gun. But this gun really does still perform quite well. I miss using the Suros in year one. I prefer that focus fire any day. Wow. 
What? Th that grenade. What? Come on, guys. I'm not that bad. Am I? Am I? Am I shit? I think I'm shit. See this? This gun can just about handle two people at once. Oh, they're back again, dude. I'm trying it again, lads. Oh, oh. That, that would have been a triple. You know, it's funny that I main a Titan and I still can't get the timing right. Here you go. There you go, guys. Two kills. I used it efficiently, kind of ish. Yeah, we're doing bits right now. You two as well, difficult. Ha Never mind. I wonder how the loot system will be on Destiny 2. Because you guys already know, the current loot system is if you're at the top, you get nothing. But if you're near the bottom three, that's when you get the main stuff. I remember it used to work that way when the Galahorn used to drop from Crucible in year one. You'd grind and grind for really good games, and then the bottom person would just get the Galahorn. Someone that has just joined at the end of the game and got like, no kills and five deaths. And they'd get the galley. Contacted Destiny servers. Ah. We're breaking up those teams to find a better match. You mean, we had to break up those teams because of this mammoth gun? If you guys have any experience with the Continental, then let me know how your experiences have been with it in Crucible. Because this roll really is decent, but I'm sure it's not the very best it can be. Well guys, given my very poor gameplay, I'd have to say that this gun really is... It, it can pack a punch if you know how to use it. And I'm not saying I'm the professional at using these guns. I know my aim is a bit wonky, it's honestly because of the pally, I'm blaming that. But if you want to go pick it up and try it yourself and let me know how you do, then do let me know how that goes for you. And do give me feedback if you like these type of videos. I'm always up for trying new sort of gameplay with certain weapons and I thought I'd merge them into one along with the weekly reset guns. Do leave a like if you did enjoy this video guys. Please do subscribe if you're new around here as well. Thank you so much for sticking around this long for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.